champions, very interesting case. Oil is coming out only from the cold side. It is brand new turbo, die in day one. And then we also see here something have chopped the blades, right? So who can explain fluently what force is that? What force oil out only to this side? Tell me. So when you have a block air filter, uh -huh. and the table, this is when the table is not getting enough air. Uh -huh. There will be a vacuum. Vacuum which, from yes. here. Uh -huh. So this is when you see oil at the compressor side of the table. Right. So that means from this oil tank, there is oil tank. Always there is a lot of oil. Oil comes in here and goes with the gravity out here. Yes. From this oil tank, through this bearing it will go here and then because there is huge vacuum it will be still sucking out from the oil tank yes and send into the combustion chamber mm -hmm. where this oil will be burned and if we don't realize that early engine will start run on that oil mm -hmm. and do what mm -hmm. run away like run away <laughs> okay you should always run away when the engine starts run away okay don't try to be hero and go and and only if the machine have manual gearbox choose the higher gear and stop it this there but if it is automatic maybe you can try and and and, and completely block it uh, in intake but when the engine is truly running like this, on this RPMs, what that engine cannot even do, nothing can stop. Your, your pedal is no more listening because it is already working on, on his own, right? That's all. Fuel you are no more giving. Pedal is up, is not down, but it is running on your engine oil and it will be running until engine oil will be over. And when the engine oil will be over, in the last seconds, what will happen? It will go, every metal will go to the metal, to the metal, and then normally pistons are coming out from the side, right? This is what you don't want to stand there, okay? <laughs> so when engine run away, then go away. Now, second thing, okay, we understood. It is very blocked air filter. That can be the reason why only comes from one side. But when you see oil is coming from the both sides, what can cause that? When the briefer is choked. Uh-huh. Yes. When the briefer is choked, correct. So what does it mean? Engine have briefer. Why engine should brief? Because when the engine is working, no matter how good is your rings, some gases will still pass to the crankcase. And where these gases will go? They need to disappear from somewhere, right? Otherwise, engine will explode. Then there is something what we call in Africa, briefer, to brief out. And if that briefer, uh, for the trucks, there is even filter between. If that one is blocked, then we see oil cannot go back with the gravity because it is pushing, is not allowed in. And oil is standing here with the pressure. And then when you close the nose and you try to breathe out, mouth closed, nose closed, and you try to breathe out from where the air will come out. Your ears. Your ears. Same with turbo. The oil will be coming out from the both sides with that pressure. And you'll be always in square one, wondering why it is like that. I put another turbo, another turbo, and fight with every turbo supplier, but don't check the briefer, okay? It's very important. When it is just from one side, first we blame filter. When it's from both sides, 
we check Brifa and of course we check the air filter, okay? But in this case, it is 100% air filter because from this side oil is not coming out a drop. And then also we see what happened when finally uh, some piece of air filter come out and fly inside, or I don't know, I hope they didn't uh, forget the screwdriver inside in the intake, okay? That can be also reason. But let me tell you, what normally costs this, when you see, when you see like this, the blade is, 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 is chopped like this, you know what is that? The previous turbo, what they replace it, this is the bolt, you see the bolt? When previous turbo stuck, that uh, not uh, the not bolt, the knot, the knot keeps spinning with the with the with the uh, uh, in inertial for force inertia. And what it do? It flies inside in the box, and it is somewhere between the filter and the turbo in that pipe. Now you replace turbo, you don't mind the filter, but that bolt, when it starts working, the bolt comes to the turbo and do this damage, okay? So always remember, turbo will tell you the story. You don't, you're not supposed to listen much what operator is telling you. What is the problem? Okay, you can politely listen him. But in end of the day, you need to study the patterns. Why that turbo die? Because if you don't do that, you will give your new turbo and you'll be in square one. Black eye again. Okay? It's very important. When you see that before you give a replacement, you give report, this is what we discover, you need to do A, B, C, right? With the pictures, with everything, then even five-year-old can understand what it means, okay? Good, that's it.